here with Efriye Wuta, one member of the Wuta group, isn't it? Yes, dear. But before we get into it, yeah, Buddha, da, yen, chen, bro, nya. Ah, oh, yeah, Buddha, da, yen, chen, bro, nya. <laughs> yeah, baby, you. I like the way you shake body. I get money, and then you bring my own body. I swear I lie, say Woody me chia you no go sorry Forget your worry, I they come to spend so lash your money Why? Yeah, yeah, bruna I love that tune, I really do Thank you. But that was before, um, after you guys came back together yeah. You know, you always expect your um, fans to be loyal to you So therefore we also expect you guys to be loyal to us you guys were separated for how long? Seven years? Yeah, almost, I think. Almost seven yeah. years. We are always curious to why our artists go their separate ways, you know? So would you be able to give us a little bit about why you decided to go your separate ways? Oh, we did, but we came back. <laughs> so uh, I think yeah. it's in the past. Mm. And uh, the future is what matters now. So yeah. we thank God that he brought us back together again for the fans and for the good music so we are back and hopefully you won't split again here to don't. we're here to stay came to London alone yes. for the um, Ghana Music Awards. Exactly. Is there other reasons why you also came? Or? Yeah, I, I was in Ghana mm. and uh, he's currently in the United States of America. Uh, he couldn't get a connecting flight from the US to the UK. In fact, they actually bought his tickets, but he was at the airport. He couldn't get the flight. So I had to represent the group, half a lovers better than none. So I had to leave Ghana and can represent the group right here. Congratulations on winning you, two beautiful. awards. Because you guys had been gone for a long time. So I having know, to come right? back and receive that award is actually amazing. It's a long time, pal. <laughs> <laughs> it's sad, oh. oh we, we, sad. We, we were separated, but then we were still actively doing music individually. Because yeah. I have been, or I was, con he was, as well, I was consistent in the music awards, VGMEs. Uh, I won the High Life Artist of the Year in 2013. Uh, in fact, every single year from 2012, I have been in the nominations yeah. to date. Mm. So we didn't disappear completely, but we left parts of us everywhere for people to see. But you know, obviously, we know you as Wuta. Wuta. So the moment that we don't hear a song from both Muta. of you, it's like, oh dear, what's going gone. on? There's always speculations. That's true. So you guys always have to come out and confirm whether it's it. you guys are coming back or not. So I'm sure your fans were very pleased to see you again. Yeah, very, very. In fact, everybody was happy. And we were happy as well. Because we had, we had like you said, we had been gone for so long a time. And they still waited for us. We came back and they accepted us the way we were and how we presented ourselves, the new us to them. So I think, you know, we give thanks to God for what he did for us. And you also, I saw on your social media, you've come out with a single Yes, I have why. a single, why? Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, it's my song. Yeah. And uh, it doesn't mean I'm breaking away from yeah. the group. But then, like other very talented musicians um, outside and within our boundaries Ghana, have done um, my endeavor to release a single uh, is not a way of breaking away. People shouldn't mistake it for me breaking away from the group. I just doing what groups like R2Bs, Morgan Heritage, etc. have done and still work together as a group. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a single, my personal project. We are musicians. At times we want to really express ourselves the way we want to. When we came together, we were just 22 years, 22 years. Mm -hmm. Now we are in our 30s. So things have changed, a lot has changed. Feeling, inspiration, so many things. Some of us are married men and stuff. So we have kids, so you can imagine. Mm -hmm. 
a lot has changed. Music has changed. Music is still the same. <laughs> <laughs> no, the reason why I use the word change because it's become very global. Okay. Let's take it 10 years back. You wouldn't see a Turkish person or English person listening to Afrobeat. But now Afrobeat has become very global. That's true. And since you've come back, one time I asked one of these artists that, do you think hip life is dead? He literally threw me. <laughs> <laughs> if he had a chance, he would have thrown me out of the window. Really? <laughs> Why? I just wanted to know because obviously the beats are changing. Obviously, high life is different to what other artists are doing. So do you think high life can always get the same, what's the word, credit as the other beats? I don't want to use the word Afrobeat Afro because Afrobeat covers the whole music genre. So do you think high life also stands the same chance as See, the other music? That's the that's problem now. Mm. Uh, you said Afrobeat covers the whole genre. Yeah. Yeah, but that is somebody's way of calling our kind of music, our high life. Whoever mm. chose to call it Afrobeat, mm. I don't know, yeah. honestly. But if you listen to Afrobeat, it has elements of high life in there. So I have said this time and again, that Afrobeat is just, a subset of high life is another branch of high life. People have chosen to call it Afrobeat. It's like taking a woman and taking off her earrings mm -hmm. and you call her another name. It's still a woman, just that she has no earrings. Yeah. You get it. And that is the difference between the, all those genres you said, which fall under the category high life. These are all under one big umbrella, high life. That's it. And hip life, I don't want to talk about it. It never had a future anyway. I'll say this again and again. Hip life never had a future. High life is a thing. Hip life was or is another branch of high life, if it still exists anyway, another branch of high life. I think that artist wouldn't want to hear that from me. <laughs> yeah, but the, the, you know, the truth yeah, yeah. sometimes is hard yeah. to take. But trust me, that is it. High life, that is why we have been, or we, it's been very difficult selling our style of music to the world. Because a few years back, like you said, now Afrobeats is all over. But five, six years ago, if you told somebody he was doing a high life, the person would say the same thing you said you told the hip life artist, throw you out. Because they, 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 they tagged it as a song for illiterates mm -hmm. in Crassifonium in my own dialect. And we allowed certain styles to take over. So hip hop came in. Uh, we had something called crank at a point. Mm. And our folks were, every, almost everybody was playing crank. And that was the year we released Kotosa. That was in 2009, yes. And Kotosa was there. We still stuck to our high life. And high life was marginalized. It was on a decline and nobody was doing it. The likes of Kofi B and stuff were the few people who were holding it up. And I, I'm proud to say uh, Wuta, one of the groups, we also stood for high life. And today it's gained prominence. Everybody feels good calling him or herself high life artist. And people are claiming all sort of titles, high life king, high life this, high life that. But it's all good for the, for the industry. At least we have something we can hold on to. Now all the kids are, sorry, not kids, but the younger artists, you talk of Kidi, Kwame Yuji, these guys are not shy being called high life artists. They love the title. This is a fight we started about 10 years back ago, and now it's yielding fruits. So I think the future for high life is very bright. In the UK, you may choose to call it Afrobeats, but in my country, we'll call it high life. High life. Yes. Sorry. With the current climate, things are moving so fast. Look at social media, one of the biggest platforms. The moment that you take a little break and come back, there's someone also doing something that you thought you were doing, but they've already started doing it. So do you think it's always a good idea to take a huge break? Because you guys were gone for seven years. In fact, the group, seven years, but individually, we were doing our you stuff. Were doing your stuff. And yeah. you said people are doing stuff. After seven years, we came back with Brunya. Boom. Boom. If, 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 if there are two ponds with, with fish or fishes, if you want me to call it, and people are fishing, 
I wouldn't go to where everybody is fishing. That's me. I love you just the way you are. My baby, oh. Make you know the shiver. No, 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 no. I won't fear me, shall we marry? Ah, won't my young can I order to quit you? I love your imperfection. I love your flaws and your motherly affection. They say people change, feelings are fade, but my love is here to stay. Yeah, I love you today, we'll love you tomorrow, we'll love you when we open the day. We'll love you today, we'll love you tomorrow, we'll love you when we open the day. Some find beauty in looks, others go for curves. No matter what they do, I still put you first. Some say beauty they lie in the eyes of a beholder, but true love no they mind. This one is from Jehovah. I love your imperfection. Our style is unique, is distinct. I don't sound like anybody. Neither does my friend. Mm -hmm. So if I go away and you have loyal fans for two years, I come back. My spot, who's coming to take my spot? Is it a market? No. When you're original, people accept you for what you do. I don't follow trends. No, not at all. Today they are playing this, tomorrow they are playing that, and you go there. I don't do that. I do me. So people who love our songs, Love us because of our unique style. Brunya, if you, if you really have time, go. I know you listen and you dance, but sit down, digest the song very well. And you'd realize it's quite different from all the songs which were released mm -hmm. at the time Brunya was released. So it's, not about, it's, it's no competition. Yeah, it's okay. Besides, we are not footballers who must retire at 35 or 40. There's no age for us to retire. The older you get, the wiser you become. Today, if I'm broke and nobody wants to buy my song, if I should say, I can come sit in front of, uh, I'll go to uh, Piccadilly Square, have my guitar, put a small bow by me, yeah. king, 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 king. I'll get one to buy my burger and go back home. That is what makes us different from other people. So I advise all young artists coming up to learn to play at least an instrument. You know, that makes you an entertainer. Rather than wait for shows to come and meet you, you can go for, for those gigs as well. So don't worry. If you live 20 years and you're loyal, you're committed to your job and you're unique, you, they'll wait for you. you. You did mention that um, they, used to look, they used to look down on high life. Exactly. And it's so funny, when you listen to Caribbean music, soca, it's got the same beat as high life. Yes. So you, you wouldn't understand why. Is it because it's African music? That's why it was looked down on. But yet, Caribbean music, soca, people are, were still listening to it. 10 years ago or even 20 years ago? I, I think I'll, I'll say the gatekeepers didn't do a great job. You know, if you have kids at home, uh, the kids learn from what you give them, what you, sh what you teach them. Mm -hmm. So if you have kids at home and then you allow them to watch porn, and you allow them to watch whatever you allow them to watch impacts on their lives and they go out behaving like what they do or watch at home. The, 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 the gatekeepers are these people who are supposed to protect our things, let certain things in, and keep certain things from entering. The door was so open that anything at all could enter. Now, and knowing our people, we are one hour back. Yeah, Joe, we love strangers. We are not hostile people. We love, we welcome everybody. And you'd be surprised. You come home hungry with your friend and your mom will give the food ho home to your friend and tell you that, and they were down for them coach. That is the sort of people we are. So this reflects in every aspect of our life, even our music we do. So when these foreign genre, or genre came, we embraced them and we pushed our own high life aside. 
and we almost killed it until we realized that we were doing our own selves, not somebody. So now, gradually, I think it's picking up. And I, I'm here, trust me. When I received the award, I was telling my folks there at the theater, I was telling them, I'm, I'm, I'm glad people born in the UK can confidently get up and say, yo, I do highlight music, or I do Afrobeats. Yeah. <laughs> it's just beautiful. But five, ten years ago, you couldn't stand anywhere and say that. The world doing a crank and the hip hop and what have you. Saying that, I mean, people used to find it hard to say they were African. That is sad. It was sad, yeah. Back in the day, when you say you're African, you kind of shy away with it. Oh, you ah. don't want to say it. But now, they are embracing it like no other. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, Peter Tosh has a song, No Matter Where You Come From, as long as you have this and you have that, <laughs> you can't run away from yeah. it. That is who we are. That is what we are. We can't run away from it. But why, would you, why wouldn't you want to be called an African? Oh, now mm -hmm. they say I'm African. Before they'll say I'm British. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. <Yeah. laughs> wow. Yeah. So right now, what are you and Kobe working on? What can we expect from you? Yeah, after Brunia, uh, we're still working. You know, usually uh, music it's not as easy as people think it is. You just get up and come. If you want to have songs like Brunya, Kotusa, and the likes, a lot of planning goes into it. Uh, you don't just get up and release a song. You look at your targeted audience and look at what they want to hear. And sometimes an artist can go like a year or two without releasing an album. And that doesn't mean he or she has opted out of music, but it's because he or she is probably gathering material to, to give to the fans. So you go to America and you have people committing all sort of minor crimes so they would get to spend some jail time. And that jail time is a quiet time with yourself. You can't have your normal sebi weed you smoke. If you do drugs, you can't do your drugs, but you can have a time with your own self and then commune with your own self and yeah. bring out what you want to do. So we are just, well, I think we took some time off after the music awards, but now I'm here with my single. Yes, and we're looking forward to that as well as Wuta. And don't disappoint you. Rest assured, once my again, dear. Because we are always behind you guys. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Wuta. It's been great. Thanks, beautiful. To you. I don't give you everything you need. Swada, sea, and sun, and it. Bonnie, be Namaya, talk to me. Me doi ube kumi a ferry. Me si mi cha mi timau. Me si mi ni mi ni mau. Me tutu me ni mau ansa we huse me do wunkuwa. Eh, o bagbe mi eh. Why oh why oh why? Odo me nye mi basa basa. Why oh why oh why? Eh, me take party eh. Why oh why oh why? Unmi mi jole, why oh why oh why? Loving you not be the same. Ah, and every day I see a change, honey. My body said things ain't Monday, Chris. Eh, but from your love I can't abstain. Me see me try me ting my. Me see me ni me ni ma, me to to me ni ma one so we who say me don't want to go. Eh, oh bad baby, eh, why, why, why? Oh don't me ni me basa basa, why, why, why? Eh, me take party, eh, why, why, why? Me come me jolly, why, why? 